young children learn best when they're in a safe and supportive environment. I believe and research has shown that purposeful play just leads to a child feeling joyful about learning. It leads to a mentally healthy and emotionally healthy child. When a child is not allowed to play to their full capacity, it diminishes their soul and psyche and their intellectual capabilities. We're only children for a short period of time. What we have today, a very narrow curriculum that is ultimately about testing and assessments of standards rather than, than moving the child forward. I do feel pressure to teach children academic skills as a replacement of play. And this pressure, I think, comes from the obsession to close the achievement gap. The fear of many families of color is that their child will be left behind. And for black and brown children and poor children, this has manifested in educational policies that really do diminish exploring their authentic self and replacing it with standardized tests, assessments that really only show a, a small part of who that child is. A challenge for an educator like myself is explaining to families that play is an integrated part of a curriculum. So it's not as though play is separate from literacy, math, science or social studies. It's a medium to really engage a child in those subject areas. Every child who comes into a school has a unique way of learning, being, and moving in space. And if we don't honor that, then we will have a population of kids and adults who will just give up on themselves. I'm not sure if it's sustainable for many black and brown and poor children if it continues down this road. For more information, visit deyproject.org.